the world population is growing and uh, everyone needs food. It's good that we are now in a time where we are more open-minded to find different ways of food production beside the traditional way. We're adapting existing technology from sectors like pharmaceutical industry into now a new food industry. The most extreme example of this is with Solene, where you're making a single cell protein straight out of air, just using electricity. GEA has decided to open up a new business unit called New Food to really accelerate the alternative protein production. New Food in general is just a, a high priority for GEA. Gear should be seen as an enabler of food production and especially within New Food we carry the entire technology portfolio. New food is when you take all of the traditional food chains and you make a lot of shortcuts in those. So you are now producing the same end product as before, be it a meat or a milk or a combined product, but you're taking ingredients from a much earlier stage. The new food processes are independent from location. So if a certain country wants to produce a certain product, even if it's in the desert, of course they can do it. You don't need fields with grass and cows. You just need the factory and then you can start production. Hello. Hi. 95% of the chemical elements that the cell needs to grow, we can source from air. This is what food out of thin air means. The bioreactor is the key in cellular agriculture. And the specific thing in our bioreactor cultivation is the utilization of gases as the main ingredients. So hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen. These we can all source from air with direct air capture. We can start even from one cell. So then that can multiply and finally reach production volume. We grow the cells and we pasteurize it and then remove water. But then this powder can be used to produce food products. So we could make yogurt type products, we could make sausages, pasta or bread or whatever. Kea is able to provide us the whole solution from upstream to bioreactor cultivation to the whole downstream and also going up to the full factory size. Yes, so here we have some powder. So this is what comes out from the spray dryer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be using the what we call egg replacer. I'm going to use it in a pasta dough as I would use an egg yolk. But it really behaves like an egg yolk. It does, it does. It takes in flour really well. Once you go up to a production scale where this is affordable for food production, you run into all kinds of challenges how to get enough gas into the media, how to remove excess heat. And all of this is what we specialize in because it is issues you do not see on the previous scales. It's really good. Super. Mm. So the new food business is a really fast developing one. The demand is obviously there. We from GEA are proud to support the startups, the ideas. They are really ambitious, so this is a really interesting field to step in.